Hey all, for this video fishing journal, we're now into winter here. And for most of my winter bass fishing, I've always gravitated to water bodies that have ample open water basins. Uh, obvious uh, main water mass locations where winter bass also generally tend to gravitate to. But what happens during winter in shallow, heavily vegetated water bodies that appear to lack topographical structure? Uh, waters like our shallow, sprawling jungle warfare pond that we targeted in this past summer's video fishing journals. Uh, video fishing journals 20 through 24. So this journal, number 29, takes us back to that jungle warfare pond, uh, this time in 42 degree Fahrenheit water. So this pond, if you remember, is our jungle warfare pond is a very shallow, sprawling gravel pit. Uh, six feet deep at its deepest, um, the majority being three to four feet deep. But unlike uh, this year's fall transition pond, uh, the one we uh, spent our time on in uh, journals 25 through 28, this one, our jungle warfare pond, has somewhat more convoluted topography uh, for a, a dish pan. <laughs> and it happens to have a larger population of bass and sunfishes, um, making it a bit of a better bet for uh, winter fishing. Also, crayfish populations appear to be fairly uh, large here, too, in, the, in this pond, um, as we found out in uh, journal 24. What makes uh, this water type a challenge to fish is the sheer amount of uh, and density of vegetation. A quick look would suggest that the whole pond is, is bassy, um, and, and it pretty much is. Uh, the trouble is getting to them. But with the onset of winter conditions, fish habitat uh, begins to consolidate. The vegetation has died back quite a bit, but the pond still remains quite weedy. Uh, just the type of water that I've often avoided in the winter. Its subtle topographic variability, um, however, uh, left behind by the gravel mining operations uh, that, that closed down decades ago, does provide a few notable deeper spots in the form of potholes and channels that should collect winter bass. These deeper spots are the closest thing we have to main basin, main mass of water areas in this shallow pond. This being early winter though, I didn't rule out shallower areas, uh, especially those near, near those deeper spots. As I've described in our other winter journals, uh, I've found bass uh, willing to be shoreline oriented and water down into the low 40s. They appear, however, so far as I've seen anyway, to abandon shoreline areas for deeper realms when the shallows glaze with ice. So uh, on this trip I spent some time perusing the incident shoreline uh, to almost no avail. Um, and I can tell you up front here that, that the bass I did find on this outing were indeed associated with those deeper areas. Winter's on. Dense weed clumps uh, do still exist in the pond, but uh, they're now almost entirely dead. But it is possible that they could hold fish as cover or objects to relate to, um, especially near those deeper areas. So I brought a light flipping rig along to give that a shot um, here and there. Uh, I didn't turn any fish that way, but flipping such cover is still an option worth pursuing in the future. Um, if any of you have experience flipping vegetation in winter conditions, uh, positive or negative, uh, do share what you found. One thing I did out there on this outing was to determine what was in the bulging bellies of those winter bass. Uh, we know that a good portion of that bulge is developing ovaries uh, and the fat deposits that support that reproductive tissue development. Uh, but I wonder how much of that bulge is food. So I went ahead and I pumped or, or, or lavaged um, that's flushing um, with pond water, the stomachs of the bass I caught. And all were essentially empty. This is not all that surprising in winter uh, and may provide observational evidence of the seasonal metabolism question that we explored in Journal 27. That is, how quickly bass gain those fat bellies in, in the fall, uh, usually by midfall. This is likely due to increased fat deposition as seasonal metabolism uh, decreases uh, amidst fall feeding. Again, fats are required for gonadal development and for winter energy reserves. So those bellies apparently are due to visceral fat accumulation and developing gonads, uh, most notably ovaries and females. 
uh, uh, so apparently my comments about caught fish, like, you know, oh, oh, this one's been feeding, may not actually be the case. Now, if anyone has concerns about the health of those fish after careful lavage, I can tell you that uh, I've, I've talked with a veterinary, uh, fish veterinary pathologist who waved that concern away, uh, saying fish swallow plenty of water and, and other stuff while feeding. No worries there, as long as you don't traumatize the digestive tract. That's, that's puncture it or bruise it. Uh, uh, th then my wife asked, if energy is so important to these fish, isn't catching them and especially removing food from them too costly? Uh, my answer is this. If I were to flush any food, I can always put it right back in. Their digestive tracts are essentially tubes. Uh, and uh, these fish are not being caught repeatedly, uh, you know, much less lavaged. So um, uh, when I'm fishing uh, my waters, I'm always hip to fishing pressure. I, I keep track of it, um, including my own fishing pressure. Uh, and I take this into, a, uh, into account when planning future outings. If a, a water body, if I've been catching the heck out of them in a water body, uh, or I'm seeing, you know, freshly bruised lips and things, um, I may move to a different water body. Okay, winter uh, presentation elements here. While I was out there fishing, um, out in Pond Center, out in that main mass, uh, another angler appeared on the shore, uh, gurgling a buzzbait across the water surface. Now, it's always worth experimenting for out of the ordinary events. Uh, you never know, especially with bass. But I can only guess he'd read that buzzbaits are good, good choices in the fall. And technically, late November could still be considered fall, some years anyway. Uh, but this has been a particularly cold one, and a thermometer could have tipped him off that we are now into winter conditions. Uh, again, as described in our other transition season journals, I consider winter to be when core temperatures fall below, that's core water temperatures fall below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, a number backed up by uh, bass physiology research. Essentially, winter becomes the time when it's, it's best, um, often critical in fact, to keep horizontal retrieve speed in check. Uh, this can be done two basic ways, by fishing more vertical presentation methods or by slowing our horizontal methods to a mere crawl, uh, especially with pauses thrown in. The basic idea in presentation is to attract fish to your lure with motion, but let them know that they can catch it. Um, if they decide to burn the energy to attempt an attack. Vertical essentially means presenting a lure with the line at, at a, ste a steep angle, uh, cl closer under your rod tip, uh, which shortens the lure's horizontal travel distance uh, and often adds detection sensitivity. Uh, jigging lures of all types and drop shot rigging uh, lend themselves uh, really well to vertical presentations. On the horizontal spectrum, uh, that is making longer casts, we need the lure to do essentially the same thing. Stay in place long enough to entice interested fish to commit. So presentations must keep horizontal speed in check. Uh, and this is done by using lighter and or more buoyant lures. Uh, lures that can be retrieved horizontally slowly. Uh, lots of options out there. Uh, on this trip I chose a Ned Grub, fished on a weedless jig head for the deeper realms, and a belly-weighted soft plastic jerk for the extreme shallows, um, where I, you know, I didn't find any fish in this trip. So let's revisit our jungle warfare pond again and see what it looks like in winter and where we find bass. Uh, as to the conditions at hand, uh, well, the water clarity is not as clear as the fall transition pond is uh, due to greater fertility um, and, and likely greater wind exposure. It's a, it's a broad, uh, uh, expansive pond. Uh, water temperatures measured 41 Fahrenheit for the core, uh, 43 Fahrenheit maximum surface temperature, uh, and 47 along the incident shoreline. Uh, that incident shoreline held very few fish, I found, uh, a few bluegills, um, and that was pretty much it. Uh, a couple weeks previously, on a nice warming day, there was, uh, were good numbers of bluegills, bass, and carp visible on that incident shoreline. Um, not today, uh, and probably not for the rest of the winter season. 
Okay, um, uh, that should do us. Let's hit the water. Let's fish. Cross breeze here. Sea bottom there. Weeds. Fish. Oh, I think I'm just sitting on my fish. Okay, little buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. and a half or maybe 12 and three quarter pretty 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 nice con not really nice condition and pretty look at that yeah gorgeous all right Since we're in the middle of okay, I got something out of there. Bubbles. All right, I'll try the next one. Nice belly on them. All right, uh, let's let's put your anchor down, buddy. Gonna move back. Gonna move back. Gonna move back. Yep. Yep. Right there. <sighs> That's a bummer. Oh well. So we took down close to the bottom, very slow. just got popped. Slow crawl. Yeah, that was a definite fish. Don't cast too far, buddy. That's a fish. <laughs> 
<laughs> right where I got that pop. Uh, I just saw the line moving. He ate it. He ate it pretty deep, too. All right. Right in the center channel. Do a jump? Not really. Oh, you are beautiful. Look at this winter bass. Look at that. Do you see why this is worthwhile? Look at that. Stunning bronze, gold, yellow. Oh, man. Oh, what a beauty. Pushing 14. Just look at that. <laughs> All right, hon. Let's get you back. There you go. So, that one took slow retrieve again, a little bit of motion. Um, and it took, and I think it had it for a little bit, was chewing on it, because uh, my cast was a tad long. That's a fish, right away. Yeehaw. Right on the edge, outer edge of those. Oop, don't hang me up, man. No. Come back. Come back, little fella. There we are. Yes. It's a funny hookup. I just backed the barb. I just, I might have to demonstrate that, how that's done. A little 11 incher. Nice. Nice body condition. Oops. What, 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 what? I'm looking at your mouth, honey. And there is a leech in there. I'm taking that leech off. Sorry, leech. You're gonna, you're gonna have to find. Another place to go. Oh, you're still holding on. <laughs> Come on, let go. All right, there you go, hon. And there's a leech. Fish leech. cover here. All right, we'll just... Whoa! It's... Oh no, my bell spring broke? Oh no, I think my bell spring broke. Saw that had a piece of weed on it. Let's see if it's going to be enough to fish with. Oh, my bell spring's broken. That's a fish. Told you I should be catching fish here, and it's a good one. Get out of there, big mama. <laughs> Broken bail spring and all. No, 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 don't you get into that stuff. You saw me, didn't you? <sighs> Come on, you're hung up. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a nice seventeener. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Oh yes. Told you I'd be catching fish here. 
Look at that golden colored thing. Don't have those winter markings so much though, do you? <clears throat> Nothing inside there, boy, you're a pretty thing. Yep. Okay. Just shy of 17. 16 three quarter. Yep, but you're a good fish. Very good fish for this. And there's another leech, maybe? No. Nope. Darkening up as I hold you out of the water here. Look at that. Look at her darken up. As the sun gets off you, maybe that's part of it. Yeah, but you're following. Nothing in there. All right, hon. There you go. Nothing. All right. Broken bale spring and all. That's a fish. I got thumped right away. Oh. Zippo. Yeah, okay. Come on. <sighs> There's that pretty, pretty winter coloration. You've been caught. you got a torn tendon in here. And it tore the flesh off the bone here, or an infection, and it's grown back. Well, there's a little bit of something in there. Looks like what's left of uh, fish flesh. I'm gonna lavage one more time here, honey. A little water in. And... Alright, Han. There you go. And I didn't... There's just... Little shards of tissue in there. Was white looked like fish stuff. Little bits of fish flesh potentially. All right, you liked that, did you? Hold up there, buddy. Yeah, this is where I caught him. Beautiful winter fish. 
Oh, that's a fish. Whoa! <laughs> Drop an anchor. Another not big fish, but pretty thing. Yeah, another 13er here. Oh, yes. Yep. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Sweet pea, there you go. Zippo once again, wow. All right. All right, put the sails up. Take me down, wind. 